So today is going to be a different type of flight. Um, the Mavic Mini uses the same remote transmission system that the Mavic Air does, enhanced Wi-Fi. Uh, it's a bit of a shame that it's not using the OcuSync system, which is what the Mavic Pro and 2 Pro uses. That is rock steady, doesn't suffer from any interference, and gives you ranges uh, far beyond of what, it, what you'd normally be flying anyway. Uh, it's kind of made a little bit worse for the fact that um, the European CE regulations mean that uh, the transmission power of the remote is reduced uh, to comply with uh, the EU regulations. So FCC mode allows for higher transmission power. And for the Mavic Mini, you actually have two different uh, types of transmission. So the Mavic Mini over in the USA under FCC regulations has a higher transmission power and it makes use of the 5.8 gigahertz frequency. That frequency does not actually travel very well, uh, but it's not very prone for interference. Whereas over in uh, Europe under CE regs, because the transmission power of the remote has to be reduced to comply with uh, European regulations, uh, DJI make use of the 2.4 gigahertz uh, uh, frequency, which travels much further, but it's far more prone to interference. So for today's flight, all I'm doing is actually flying directly over some woodland. Um, it's woodland that I walk the dogs uh, most days and I'm flying up a specific hedgerow that uh, I know very well and is actually in the shadow of a uh, major pylon line in the, in the distance. So I'm going to be doing a very low flight. I'm only going to be doing around uh, 30 meters max, so less than 100 feet high. And uh, I can actually see where the drone is flying for the entire trip. I can get up to around 800, 900 meters away because I can see precisely uh, where that hedgerow is from uh, my vantage point here in the back garden. So I'm hoping the Mavic Mini, they're saying it's enhanced Wi-Fi, but it's better than the Mavic Air. So I'm hoping I'm going to get less uh, interference. Um, anyway, let's see how we get on. Yeah, it's getting very jerky. There we go. Looks like I hit almost 900 meters. And it looks like 900 meters. He's really struggling. So the video transmission started breaking up at around 900 meters and around 980 meters it initiated uh, automatic return to home. 
Uh, I was flying very low, around 28 meters high, that's less than 100 feet high, and I know you're gonna get better transmission if you actually fly higher, but that is not a flight I wanted to make. So there you go, Mavic Mini, Mavic Air. Uh, both of them use the same sort of uh, remote transmission system, the enhanced Wi-Fi, and I think that is demonstrated today that uh, it's an absolutely fine transmission system. Yes, it's not as good as the OcuSync uh, system that the Mavic Pros use or the Mavic 2 Pros, but um, my concern is basically, am I gonna be able to fly up to around 500 meters without much interference and without any signal loss? And uh, from what I've uh, seen today, yes is the answer to that. Um, admittedly, I'm not flying near a town, so I'm not gonna be suffering the interference that uh, flying near buildings uh, may give you. But certainly for my needs, uh, flying out in the countryside here, flying along that uh, bit of woodland and that little bit of hedgerow, absolutely fine. Very, very happy with that. So, and hopefully that's um, put some of your uh, fears to rest because I've had some people uh, concerned that uh, especially the European model was not gonna be able to perform uh, very well. Uh, I have no issues with it at all. So uh, on that note, until next time, have fun, happy flying.